What's up YouTube? This is Legendary K2 and uh been playing games since the early 90s here and um just like to kind of pick out what's what's good for each one and display them on this uh gaming shelf of goodness here. Um only the best makes it up top here, but for this video I'd like to uh take a little minute and uh or a few minutes and talk about one that gets a lot of flack and doesn't get much play on YouTube and that's the uh, Neo Geo CD. Um, <clears throat> first saw this system in the back of uh, Tips and Tricks magazine. And, uh, you know, you see that by the importers, you know, back pages there uh, advertising this thing. And, you know, it was a lot of money. And uh, at the time I was playing my, uh, you know, Sega Genesis or whatever, which, uh, you know, Sega for life. But, you know, this thing always looked awesome. So about 10 years later, I uh, picked this up off of uh, the auctions, and uh, it just came, and it's the North American one that I would have bought way back when if I, uh, you know, was old enough to have a job. So, anyways, and uh, as you can see, it's this box. I'm not into boxes or collecting boxes. I pulled this one out of my closet for this video, but, you know, this one's in damn good shape, and this is uh, kind of hard to find because... You know, it is the North American model, and uh, I don't know about you, but I didn't see these at Funko Land. So, yeah. Take a little quick look around this box. Uh, see what it says here. Put yourself in the action with stunning graphics, superlative sound, and the ultimate in arcade games. The new age of Neo Geo has arrived. Well, you know, maybe not. <laughs> uh, this thing is kick-ass. The games do rock, but you have to have some patience because the load times, as you know, weren't the best. Um, but, you know, if you have some patience, um, and even if you don't, there's a lot of games that, you know, are definitely playable on this thing. Uh, to show you what came with that with that sweet box is, you know, uh, right here, here's a North American Neo Geo Pad controller box. Um, these are hard to find. Um, and this one's in mint condition. And uh, I'll show you the controller here, right here. A lot of people go gaga over this thing. And uh, it is cool, you know. Um, one of the more uh, badder controllers out there. But, you know, this click stick that people go crazy for, um, you know, the diagonal, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, you know. So that's why I think it's better to go for the regular arcade sticks available for this thing. Uh, the buttons are great. Uh, the feel of this controller, the ergonomics if you will, you know, they're top notch. Um, it's very well designed. Too bad the, the micro switches inside here are a little, you know, they haven't aged too well. Uh, I'll show you what you should get. And that's uh, this bad boy right here. As you know, the AES stick, you know, enough said. Nice Samitsu, uh, if not Sumitsu, Sumitsu inspired stick. Big, clumpy buttons, but you know, they still work awesome. Um, later, they came out with this one the kidney. Oops. Yeah, this is the Neo Geo Controller Pro Arcade, Contro Ar Arcade Joystick Pro. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's kind of a hybrid between a controller and a joystick, but you know. Um, it's still about roughly the same size as the first one I just, or the previous one I showed you. Um, and it does have, you know, arcade quality joystick. Um, this is pretty sweet. I like this one. I like the uh, AES stick, uh, the original more. So, anyways, um, show you some other stuff that came with the uh, Neo Geo CD I got here. Um, he, like, kept everything. Um, here's like the epilepsy warning, um, this side's in Spanish, the other side's in English, but, you know, I don't know if these are the original twist ties or what, but, you know, I got the warranty card, uh, yeah, that's probably not too good anymore, and then, uh, let's see, over here, sorry, doing hand work on the camera if you're in space right now, here is the North American instruction manual. And uh, I won't show you the inside because it's black and white, not very interesting. Just says congratulations and, uh, you know, start kicking ass. But here's the backside, and this is in really, really good shape. I'm pretty happy with this. 
Um, you know, I don't like to take it out too much, so I thought I'd show you guys while I did. And uh, here's something that I got off the auctions. Uh, this thing came from Japan, uh, but it's a brochure on the Neo CD. Uh, very good shape, and it's all in English. So uh, the inside gives you some kind of glory shots at the nice, pretty Neo CD there. The thing is so badass. And uh, let's see over here, arcade games playable on home CD system. Hell yeah. You know, this thing, you know, a lot of the Neo games, they look great even today. And that's a little shot of the inside there. Sweet, sweet stuff. So yeah, I don't know anything about this brochure. If it was uh, in magazines or what, or you know, handed out at stores, or maybe it was meant for North America. I have no idea. Uh, if anybody knows anything about it, definitely leave a comment. But um, yeah, just got that for a few bucks and said, why the hell not? So uh, moving along here to some of the awesome games. Um, you know, one thing about the Neo CD, yeah, the load time's not so hot, but, you know, the sound um, is just, like, head and shoulders better than uh, the cart in most cases. And, um, you know, for a lot of the older games, uh, like Samurai Showdown, like, phew, it's it's really awesome on the CD, in my opinion. And uh, we're actually listening to this in the background. I'm on my Neo Geo. Uh, hooked up to my stereo, but here's the North American Samurai Showdown. Um, this came with the system uh, off that one auction. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff off that guy. I was so happy with that. Um, definitely one of the better experiences I've had. I'll show you the back here. Yep, Izato. On guard, dude. Hell yeah. This thing, this game is ah, it's still fun. It's still fun. Uh, a lot of these games have aged really well. Um, here's, uh, I think, uh, probably the best one, though. Samurai Showdown 2. Um, the cover art, sick. Uh, Shinkiro's the man. Uh, SNK in-house art staff was uh, definitely uh, not too shabby. Uh, and this is the North American one. To be or not to be, you'll soon find out, bitch. That's right. It's Samurai Showdown 2. This game kicks ass. Alright, moving right along. This also came with the, uh, with that, uh, with that one auction. He, uh, apparently imported Samurai Showdown 3 at one point. Um, this along with two have, uh, spine cards, which is interesting. I'll get into that a little later. Um, here is, uh, Samurai Showdown RPG. Um, I don't know if you've ever played Japanese RPGs, but, um, they're impossible to play. Uh, this is still cool though, you know, whatever, it's Samurai Showdown, how could it be bad? Um, I don't play it though. <laughs> uh, here's a later release, uh, here's Last Blade. Um, this game is absolutely beautiful. The loading times on this, yeah, they can be, they can be kind of bad, but you know, you take that minute or whatever between matches to, uh, do some trash talking to your friend next to you and, uh, you know, get another beer and it's all set. Um. I don't know if you see that little reflection, um, you know, most of these, I think, supposedly some didn't, but I think, uh, I think they did, have this little etched Neo Geo symbol, yeah, you can kind of see it there, it's almost like a watermark or something, but, um, this is a Japanese game, and I'll show you the inside, yep, it's kind of cool, most Neo CD games have kind of generic looking discs, um, but this has got a kind of prettier design. I'll show you real quick. Um, that's what most Neo CD games look like. Um, but this later release got a fancier disc, and there's a spine card. Um, so moving on, I want to kind of get through all these really quick. Here's Last Blade 2. Um, this is a little easier to play on the Neo CD because in the options menu you can turn off a lot of the uh, before round um, trash talking. So you just so basically you go into versus mode and it's just fighting. So um, if you were to play this game full on, you'd wait for a load screen. They trash talk a little bit, it would load more. Um, it would show you a little bit about the stage, it would load more, then it would fight. I mean, yeah. So if you can deal with just having bare bones fighting. 
this is playable. <laughs> but you know what? These ports are, in my opinion, um, kind of the best because if you can wait with that low time, you get uh, an amazing CD orchestrated soundtrack to go with your epic samurai fight. So what's better than that? Uh, here's a North American uh, Neo CD game. Here's Arrow Fighters 3. This game's hilarious. You play as a dolphin. Uh, you can play as a dolphin, uh, ca you know, airplane pilot with like two hot Russian babes. Um, you know, it's hilarious. Uh, I got this off of NeoGeo.com uh, from their uh, online store. A great resource, great forum. Um, the store only says sells legitimate stuff, which is uh, always nice to see. Uh, King of Fighters 98. It's a Japanese copy. Uh, this game's a little hard to play on the CD, to be honest. Here's some rare third-party stuff for Neo Geo CDs, Sunsoft title, Galaxy Fight. Um, this game's hilarious. A um, little different. Best character is this cat girl with big knockers. Um, yeah, interesting. Don't pay too much for it, though. <laughs> Alright, King of Fighters 94. Got this game for real cheap and uh, from Japan. As you can see, there's no watermark, as it were. Um, so this has probably been repackaged. Sold it, five bucks, whatever, quick fix, right? Uh, here's uh, Fatal Fury Special. Gotta love these cover arts, man. Gotta love them. Art of Fighting 2, yeah. This game, cover art, awesome. You got, uh, well, I forget their names right now, but, you know, this is a Japanese copy, too. Got for cheap, no watermark. And, uh... Here's a great game, Polestar. This game is really best played on the CD because uh, the music is, you know, just that good. Um, uh, and this game will run you astronomical prices on any other format, even the MVS. So, uh, as it is, this is like a $80, $90 game. And uh, this one uh, does have a nice spine card there. So, yep. I definitely highly recommend this game, especially if you're a fan of R-Type um, or any shooting game. That game is hard as nails, man, and it is beautiful. Uh, Baseball Stars 2, great game, American copy, no watermark, but who cares? This game is kick-ass fun, and I hate baseball games. Um, here's uh, 2020 Baseball. I bought this off the Neo Geo store, and... Uh, and it's still sealed, so you can kind of see what a spine card looked like on the game. And uh, I don't have a heart to open this up, but there you have it. Another fun game, which I, to this day, have only played on the uh, Super Nintendo and uh, Sega Genesis. But saving the best for last, this came with the game, and uh, or the system, I should say. And that's the original Metal Slug, North American copy. This is... Uh, much more affordable than buying it for the home system. Not as affordable as buying it for the MVS, but a lot of people like this version the most. Um, it's got uh, really cool uh, additional art you can earn, uh, battle school and all that jazz. And the crazy thing about this, this guy was crazy, let me tell you, because it's still kind of wrapped in the original, can't see it, it says Metal Slug CD. It's still got the cellophane on it. It's open on one end, but... I mean, this guy just kept this game pristine, and uh, I'm not like this with a lot of my games, but I, I don't keep this on the shelf. Uh, this I keep wrapped up. <laughs> Let me just take this apart to show you. Um, I keep this covering a lot of bubble wrap in a drawer hidden away, because uh, that spine card has never been bent. Ever. <laughs> yep, that's the original Metal Slug North American spine card. Let me tell you, this game is totally mint. Totally. And uh, I'm pretty lucky to, you know, just score this off the auctions. I mean, this is, you know, the go-to game for lots of fun. But I don't keep it on the shelf because I don't want some donkey to pick it up and be like, Oh, Metal Slug, and put a nick in this thing because I just won't suffer fools when it comes to this game. Because uh, it's awesome. You know, like this game is uh, not cheap, but it's not the rarest game I have, but I'm very lucky to have it. Anyways, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, maybe I'll make another video. Who the hell knows? So, 
Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed uh, my Neo CD collection.